Hey beautiful booktubers, I'm Becky Bookworm and I'm here today to do part one of my book haul. Part one is going to be books and graphic novels that people have loaned me or gifted me. I figured I'd split it up like this just because I have got quite a few. First up is Swamp Thing volume one and two and the story of Swamp Thing is Dr Alec Holland died in a lab accident and was resurrected as Swamp Thing. That was six weeks ago and now all of a sudden he's resurrected. He does have the memories of what Swamp Thing did when he was there but he's trying to put that behind him and figure out what's happening. Now unfortunately the green which I guess is the overarching being I guess the god type wants Swamp Thing back to help with the current threat to the planet and that is where we start on volume one. I'm not sure what happens in volume two but that is the gist of it. So it does sound like something I would quite like. I'm into the environment and not ruining the world and that sort of thing. So I guess that's where Swamp Thing comes in. I think in my brain, I do keep getting it confused with the Toxic Avenger, which is a whole different thing. Next is Fatal volumes one to five. I'm just holding two of the copies here because there's too many. This is by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. So the story focuses on Josephine. Now Josephine has a way with men. It's almost like they become obsessed with her when they meet her and they will do whatever she says. She's hiding from someone or something. And at the beginning, we don't know who that is or why, but all that becomes clear as you move along the story. I don't really want to say any more than that but it is quite film noir, uh, sort of film noir meets supernatural and I think I did talk about it in my last wrap up because I'd read volume one and two but I am really enjoying it so far and I'm looking forward to reading the other few. Next up is The Strange Girl Omnibus. Now this is a bit of a beast, obviously this is the Omnibus edition so this has all everything all in one volume. And I'm loving that front cover, look at that. Amazing. So the rapture happened 10 years ago and occultist Bethany Black and her pet demon are heading off on a road trip to open the last gateway to heaven. Her plan is to meet with God and try and convince him to let her into heaven so that she can get off hell on earth. Sounds like a great premise. I guess we'll see what happens. So my very lovely friend Leanne over at Literary Diversions sent me a cheer up package when very sadly one of my ferrets Casper had to be put to sleep after a short illness. I was absolutely distraught. She sent me the most wonderful package with books, sweets, bookmarks, letters, notepads, just all of the all of the good things that you want to receive were in this package. So thank you very much, Leanne. It was so unbelievably kind of you. And one of the books she sent, one of the books? No, she did only send one book, I think. And that was this one. And this is You Will Grow Into Them by Malcolm Devlin. This is a short story collection. And it's a collection of stories about change and transformation. Uh, it looks at childhood fears and the hopes of adults. And it says you can expect lycanthropes, doppelgangers and demons. Sounds amazing. Next up, I went to visit my lovely friend Rin in London and we always do a bit of a book swap whenever we meet up. We're into lots of different stuff. So I will run through all of the books that she gave me. First up, Clive Barker's A to Z of Horror. This is a really old BBC edition. It is what it says. It just runs through an A to Z of all things that Clive Barker finds horror and scary and it has lots of drawings in there by him and I'll show you a few pages. Just running through the alphabet like M is for Mistress of the Night. So I'm looking forward to that. I love a good picture book coffee table thingy. No One Thinks of Greenland by John Greismer. So this is set in 1959 and Corporal Rudy Spruce has just joined the US Army. He's sent somewhere near the Arctic Circle to a hospital but he doesn't know why he's there or what is happening. So this follows the journey of him trying to figure out what's going on and the interesting and weird people he meets on the way. Next, finished by Jeff Vandermeer. This is a sci-fi novel. Detective John Finch has one week to investigate the murder of two beings, one human and one not. This takes place in a building called Ambergris. For those that don't know, Ambergris is actually a sort of whale vomit. You'll find it in some perfumes because I think it helps the smell stay for longer. The weird things we do as people. Anyway, so Ambergris is a rotting building that's falling down, full of hostile life forms. Detective John Finch has to try and figure out who's done these murders in that time scale, and he meets spies, rebels, traitors, just to try and get to the bottom of it. So that sounds really good, and this cover's great as well. And finally, from my lovely friend Rin, we have The Gone Away World by Nick Harkaway. 
The Jogman Pipe is the backbone of the world and it's on fire. Gonzo Lubitsch, I think it is, and his best friend are in charge of sorting that out and putting out that fire. When they get there to try and do it, they, they find, like, as always, there is more to this than meets the eye. So it says on the back of it that it's a comic adventure. Oh, no, sorry. It's, it says on the back it's adventure, comic odyssey and romantic epic. So that sounds pretty good. I really love it when friends give me books because it often means that they're going to recommend stuff that I may otherwise never have thought of. So I'm so excited to get to all of those. And obviously they were all free. Yay. So that is the end of my book haul part one. So that was gifted and loaned books. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. I'll be back soon with another video. Big hugs. Bye.